Hi subscribers, what's up? It's me, Webs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Boolean data type from JavaScript. First, I'd like to thank RJ Christie for contributing this presentation. Second, if you have something to contribute, email us at slidenerd at the rate gmail.com. So let's begin. So what is Boolean? Takes two values, true and false. The values are distinct from numeric values. So true is not like one or false is not like zero. Let's take a look at how it looks. Where found is false. Made a variable called found, give its value as false. Made another one, give its value as true. This is how Boolean works. So why would we use it? These values, true and false, are case sensitive. Capital T will differ from what I've written over here. So make sure that everything is small when you're writing these values here. Now let's take a look at the boolean. Now all values can be converted to a boolean in JavaScript or ECMS script. So to convert a value to boolean, call this function which is called boolean with a capital B and parentheses after that. Let's take a look at that. Let's say I have a variable called test. Its value is high which is nothing but a string because of these double quotes we can clearly see that what if I wanted to convert this to a boolean so I would call this function boolean inside the parentheses I would pass this variable name test what this function will do is take the value of test which is high try to convert it into true or false and store that value inside this variable result over here so you guys are like okay how can you convert high to true or high to false what the hell are you saying well let's take a look at that there's a table for doing that so the table basically goes like this if true is to be converted to something which is boolean then true will be converted to true false will be converted to false of course if you have a string if the string is empty in other words there's just double quotes and nothing inside it it will be converted to false when you call the boolean function otherwise it will be converted to true a number 0 or nan gets converted to false any other number including negative number becomes true null value can get converted to false anything else becomes true undefined gets converted to false when you call the boolean function over it so these are some of the examples where we talk about converting different things now again if you take a look at this example where message is high and I have a condition which says if message then I'm trying to print an alert over here now if you don't know what an if statement means don't worry about it the idea here is you're checking is message empty it's not empty therefore this alert statement will run and it will be displayed here so before all this runs out of your mind let's go to webstorm make a simple example try to understand how we can use boolean so here I am in JetBrains WebStorm I have a simple script tag inside which I have my variable called my test equals to false now I want to convert the value of this variable into a boolean so I will use this function called boolean within this parentheses I pass the variable my test in other words it is like saying take my test find its value convert that to a boolean assign the result to this variable called boolean equivalent and then I'm trying to print it by saying alert equivalent now I have my test equals false so at this point run this false gets converted to false right go further make it true here again go refresh true gets converted to true over here further go make this a string I'm gonna remove this true here put a double quotes let's say hi let's see what happens when we do that save it refresh it here it becomes true now here's the condition if I put nothing inside the double quotes now save it now run it gives false so as you can see an empty string has a boolean equivalent of false you can use this as a condition to check if a string is empty or not now further going let's make this a number let's say minus 2 save refresh here minus 2 becomes true what about plus 2 again go here refresh that becomes true what about 0 put 0 here refresh 0 
becomes false. To go further, put a NAN here, which is not a number. Refresh here, that becomes a false. So 0 and NAN are the two numbers that have a Boolean equivalent of false. All other numbers are true. Further go here, change this. So null, let's see what null becomes. Null becomes false. Amazing. Go here, make it undefined. So if a value is undefined, it gets converted to false when you try to make it a boolean. So these are the different equivalent values in boolean for any variable containing any type of data. So hopefully you guys have followed how boolean works. Next video, let's go further, talk about numbers, play with them. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd. Let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.